In this tutorial, we're going to get into the column shape uh, tool. There's three tools here, consists of input A, B, and C. I have a design up here that comes with the Wilcom software, and of course the clouds and the balloon was digitized in the previous uh, tutorial of the free shape. So, in this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and turn off the true view, and the first one will be your input A. So, uh, input A is a back and forth motion, and what I'm going to do is work on these birds right here and I'm going to select my color and I'm just going to go ahead click on the input A tool and you can go in a back and forth motion to create this through here now I can also do a cut and paste over here if I want to continue that or I could have actually broke that up into sections as you may see through here so there's several ways what we could do through here to create that. It's a matter of preference on here, as you may want to do. So that's a sample of uh, how to do the input A. We're going to get into the input B system. Now that is defining the left side, then the right side. So with my input B selected, I'm going to go ahead and do the bottom half of this. And what I'm going to do is define side one. Left click, left click, press the enter key and define side two. Right click, left click, straight, right click, left click, straight, right click, left, right, and left. And then I'm going to press enter when I'm done. And this will create my input. B, define the left side and the right side, or side one and side two. The next one is input C. Now input C is usually a straight line border or so. And you can define the width on there as a flat width. And I don't recommend to go less than one millimeter. That's 0 .04. And then you can use offset. Now as you see, I could automatically define my width by changing the circle here. If I want to make that smaller, you can see that, how that circle is there. Or I could define my width why I digitize. So let's go ahead and start right here. And what I'm going to do is just bring this up. And if you notice on the bottom of my screen, it says input uh, number two or three point and I'm going to just press enter when I'm done. Now it asks me on the bottom of my width. So I'm going to define the left side and then go to the right and that's going to define my width. And I could do that with each one through here. So I could go up and press enter and enter again will keep the same width and so forth on there. Now I'm doing left click. Now if I need to do right click, I could define by curve by left. Right click is a turn. Left click is a straight line. And once again, define my width. And pull and left click and now define the width. So that is a quick tutorial of doing that. I could go proceed with the balloon with the input C because they're all consistent straight lines or I could go back and forth motion with input A and so forth but I'm going to save the lines uh, for the uh, next one of the outline tool fly out thank you